Master, excuse me. It seems that Mrs. Johnson forgot her purse. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, she's probably still in the parking lot. I'll go run it out to her. No need. She'll be back to get it in exactly three, two, one. How did you- She's actually going to wait here for approximately five minutes because it's going to start raining in three, two, one. My God! God. Ah, like a prophecy. <laughs> Perhaps it may seem that way to you, but no. I'm from the future. That's how I know. I came back in time to seek counsel from a man of God. Counsel? The future? Oh, uh, look, uh, I, I, I don't, um... I'm not asking you to take it on faith, Pastor. I'll take you into the future with me. I'll show you myself. And then I'll bring you back to the here and now, where you belong. We desperately need your advice. Can we go now? about 3,500 years into the future, a uh, year 5520, in a place you once knew as Texas. Texas? It, it, it seems so primitive. Most of the world is, compared to your time. W what happened? War, starvation, disease, you name it, it happened. My God! That's why we need you, Pastor. You see, we don't know what to do. About what? Uh, in particular? Well, from a moral standpoint, we're at a loss, Pastor. You see, we embraced moral relativism long ago. But there are those of us who question whether that was a wise course of action. Question whether that was actually what led us to these trying times. So we came back and retrieved you because we seek the advice of someone who believes in moral absolutes. Oh, well, well in that case, I'd, I, I'd be more than happy to advise you. Uh, subjective morality is, is foolishness, and, and, and I'm willing to bet it is almost certainly what led you uh, uh, to, to, to whatever tribulations affect you right now. Very good. That is our dilemma. That village over there is filled with all kinds of people. W what about them? Look to the horizon over there. Do you see that band of marauders in the distance? We have the ability to stop them from what they're about to do, but we are uncertain if it would be moral to interfere. You see, they're going to attack the people in that village and utterly slaughter them. They're going to kill most of them. They're going to kill children, toddlers, and even babies. They're going to plunder, pillage, and rape. They will take some people as slaves. The rest will be killed. And then they'll burn that place to the ground. Should we stop them, Pastor? Or should we leave them? to this awful fate, huh? A wise man uh, of my time once said that uh, the, the only thing necessary uh, for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. So we should stop them. Are you saying that would be the moral thing to do? Y yes, there, there's a definite right 
and, and a definite wrong. And, and, and they correspond with God's very nature to, 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 to allow babies to, to be butchered is objectively against uh, uh, what is moral. Interesting. So when we alter the time variable, you pass the test. Test? What are you talking about? We adjust multiple variables to test your consistency. You weren't the only one brought here, Pastor. We placed your wife and child amongst the people in that village. So your decision determines their fate as well. We then reveal this fact to you, as I have just now done, and then observe how the personal stake affects your moral decision. <sighs> okay, um, I see. Well, um, uh, <laughs> my decision stands, um, and I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm glad I made the right choice, so, uh, as you can see, my moral choice remains consistent, uh, sir. Please end this now. I, 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 I wish to return home to, to my family. Are you sure about that, Pastor? Are you certain there is no circumstance when it is moral to butcher babies? My God, what a question! Of, of course there's no such circumstance! Look. You asked for my counsel as a, as a man of a, of a better, wiser time, a, a man of God who believes in the morality you people seem to have abandoned, and, and now I'm giving you that counsel. Do not allow those children to be slaughtered, sir. Do not allow my family to be killed. So you changed your mind then. Interesting. My hypothesis was correct. But, but, I, but, what, what do you mean? I'm a time traveler, Pastor. I've asked your opinion about this before. What happens now will not be based upon your current counsel, but upon your previous counsel, when you thought these children and babies should be slaughtered. What? What are you talking about? I don't, I don't, I don't believe this. this. This has to be a mistake. I would never give such advice. Why? Why, why, why? why would I change my mind so drastically? Because I changed a key detail of our situation. You see, we did not actually travel 3,500 years into the future. We traveled 3,500 years into the past. Those people are the Midianites, who you believed were slaughtered by the Israelites on God's command in the book of Numbers, chapter 31, a command to kill every male, adult, child, and baby, to slaughter every non-virgin female, and then to take the virgins and plunder for themselves. Sorry, you cannot interfere. You are here as an observer only and cannot physically interact with them. You are imperceptible to them. Please stop this. Look at them, Pastor. Is this objectively moral? I was with you amongst the people in your congregation long ago. You were asked about this. You told us that this was justified because the Midianites convinced some of the Israelites to believe in other gods. But is that not what all religions do? Do those who proselytize deserve to have their children butchered? You come from a time and place that values freedom of religion, so which is it? You told us that God commanded them to slaughter these people because they led God's people astray. But isn't that exactly how terrorists justify their violence? Look at them! You told us that the slaughter of these children was a 
gift to them because it sent them straight to heaven. But is that not a justification to kill every child? You told us it was not rape because the Israelites married their captive women. But do you think women so freely desire to have sex with the men who killed their families? You want me to stop it now that it's before your very eyes, Pastor, now that it's your family. But when it was just in your holy book, you said it was okay, and you were so quick to make excuses for it. Watch as they kill children, blameless children, your child, and then remember that you yourself already justified it all while claiming to have the moral high ground an objective moral standard rooted in god's nature watch if you can justify this as moral then what can't you justify pastor your disgust and shame and horror right now is born of a moral direction that emerged not because of your religion but despite it please Stop it! Listen to what I'm saying now! I don't I don't give a damn what I said in the past. I, 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 I was I, I was making excuses before, but, but, but because I wanted to keep believing, but because I, I wanted others to believe, but, but but this isn't right. Take my counsel now and stop this. Other people gave a damn. Other people took it to heart, Pastor. Your words affect People, your words have consequences beyond yourself. I can't stop it, Pastor, because it already happened. You can't change the past. B but you came! You came from the future and, and brought me here! That's changing the past, isn't it? No, Pastor. I'm not just some man from the future. You see, as it turns out, I am God, after all. And as God, I am merely an extension of your ego. In other words, I am you. And that's how we know each other so well. Listen to my voice, Pastor, and hear your own. Speaking for God is the easiest thing to do. People have been doing it for thousands of years, invoking God to justify their actions. Don't worry, your family is fine. We didn't actually go anywhere. It's always the present. You can't affect the past, but you can affect the future. So if you don't want genocide to happen again, the first thing you should do here and now is stop justifying it.